So we gotta make sure this camera's ready. No, just whatever angles, whatever angles. Oh, hold on, I gotta sync this thing. Okay, ready? Live? Alright, here we go. I love you, my girl. Lie down on But every time I look into your eyes, I'm the man that you need all in your life. Be my young brother, then your body looking right. You only live one life, I'm trying to live tonight. Put you on some gangsta shit, I'm trying to build my wife. Give you all this love, make you quit tonight. Got it, I'm What's going on, y'all? It's Leo here with ISO Raw Productions. Um, today we will be building a rig for a uh, for my Sony, my Sony A1 with a 24 to 70 lens. All right, we're gonna be building our first rig. Uh, this is gonna be our main camera when we go on shoots, when we're doing any type of shoots, as far as um, you know, any type of scripted scripts, any type of movies, uh, short films, anything like that. This is going to be our go-to camera and our rig build up is going to be right here and it's going to be our rig. Um, we've got a lot going on, but, um, you know, just stick, stick with me, stick it through. And, um, all right, so let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I hear this is the money maker. This right here is the money maker. The money maker. When I tell you this, the money maker I keep hearing, this makes your camera look legit. No matter what you got. Make your camera look legit. Free well, you need to sponsor me, baby. Tripod wheels. Tripod wheels, baby. Tripod. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little overwhelmed. Um, this this is a lot, there's a lot going on, there's a lot going on. So we're gonna section it off, separate it, right? All right, here we go. All right, so this right here is the this is the base of the rig. All right. The base, baby. This is the base, baby. See that? Boom. Base. All right. Camera sits on top. Poles go through. You got a bottom piece if you want to go ahead and add um, your tripod connector, whatever the case may be. Um, go in like this. Tighten it right here, right there. Tighten that thing like that, boom. Now you got your base for the rig set up, right? Alrighty, so I forgot that. Uh, so we're gonna add this, we're gonna put our camera in a cage as we um, want it connect to the, um, when it's connected to the rails and the railing base because um, that's how we're gonna connect all our accessories. So, wow. So, like that. Save that for later. This is our cages. I already got this. Already purchased that. We're gonna add the cage on. The thing about what I like about this cage a lot is that um, this cage comes with a actual um, little Allen key at the bottom base allen key for, for this right here, especially for this one because this is the one that kind of helps secure the camera in place. But then you always got to remember to press it again to switch it. So as long as you remember, but if you fuck with my thing. No, ain't no fuck up you fuck up. What the fuck you think this is? So this seems like this is the most challenging part is getting that piece. You gotta have nails for it. Oh my god. Get that base piece right here to get connected to the cage. Or you just really need a flathead screwdriver. But I left my tools somewhere. You know where I left them. That's why it's good to have uh, nonsense on your keys. Never know when they're gonna come in handy. Alright, oh, 
gosh. All right, so that part is set. So we got the camera there. Um, this door, because I'm going to be using a dummy battery. Okay. Actually, I want to see if um, if I I want to see if this camera allows power through the HDMI C port. Uh, not the H USB C port. Not HDMI. USB C port. I want to see if uh, this will provide power through that. So I'm going to leave this door closed right now. So the next thing we got here to add to it is the um, where the battery is going to go. So the battery is going to go on the back. All right, so this is a this is a base plate, base plate. Anyways, base plate. Um, so goes on to the back here. We can add up a little bit. These go here. Ooh, ooh, right here. That's the base plate. This is where all the power is gonna go through. Righty tidy. Where all the power is going to go to. Okay. Um, now this here. Safety first. This is the uh, lens, right? So this, so as you can see, this kind of like, you know, a little wobbly. So this here is to support the lens on the front. As you can see. Okay, this goes here. on the lens there and tighten these babies up so now the lens has support so now it's a little bit more sturdy and solid All right I put it right here on the um the part that doesn't affect the zoom I guess I can move it up just a little bit it doesn't affect the zoom and it doesn't affect my focus okay boom Come along, what do you think? What do you think, Shane? All right, he gave me a, he gave me a, a head nod. All right, so now that's set, next we got is the lens mount for the monitor. monitor goes here. As you can see, this is up and down. Here, up and down. You can see. That's for the monitor, so I can move the monitor up and down. So this is a big screw here, so this will go right here. So that way it doesn't affect my button or record. Core button right there gives me a nice, nice enough space right there. Bam, bam, bam. See that? Boom. All right. So now here, all right. So this is a side handle. I got this side handle because it already has a button, so I decided I'll just get a side handle that doesn't have too much. Um, that doesn't have to have another button. I mean, it'd be cool. I could have got it, but you know, at the time of ordering, going through the ordering process, I was like, you know what? Nah, it's not necessary. So. I got. All right, so now I gotta get this. All right, so boom, right here. I don't understand why they never make all the Allen keys the same size. Like, does it make everything fit with the same Allen key? Fuck! Alright? Does it make everything fucking fit? What the fuck is y'all doing? Whose idea was that?
So this is cool. You get to see. You get to. See. What is it called? Are you smaller? Yeah. Which part? The one that's not smaller. Um, it's just things I saw online that were the same but cheaper. Like, for instance, um, the ND filter is there. There's a Polar Pro who makes them, um, who makes nice ND filters, but they're like six hundred dollars for like a base set. This was like a whole set for the same price. So, alrighty. So that's my side handle right here. You just gotta make sure your things are pretty tight. You don't want anything kind of loosey goosey. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Boom. All right, we get it. We moving. Oh, I thought that was an alley thing. I was like, what the fuck? All right, great. All right, so so far this is what we got so far. So we got the back, the back plate for the power. We got the monitor right here. We got the side arm. We got the full cage. We got our, our um, button here for our, our top handle. We got our uh, lens um, sturdy mount to keep the lens from going up and down. We got our rails, and uh, this is where we are so far. All right, so what's next? Next is. Let's go ahead and put our monitor on. See what that looks like. All right. The thing about this monitor is that um, it has it has thread on the top. You see that it has thread a thread hole on top, but it also has a thread hole on the bottom. But I lost that. But it definitely has a thread hole on the bottom as well. So let's go ahead and put the monitor on there. Right there, but you see it's kind of loosey goosey. Alright, it's a little too loose. So, because it's a little too loose, I'm gonna go ahead and, and tighten that right here. So, there you go. Now, I'm gonna tighten it a little bit more. Oh, and it's a little 360 spin. Look at that. See that? Look at that. Now that is tightened. 360. Wow. Alright. Cool. Let's go ahead and add the battery. Start getting these things powered on, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so this is a small rig V mount battery. This is one of the newest batteries out. I believe it it is a, a lot of power and it charges in like 30 minutes. So ooh. And it's small. Look at that. Look how small that thing is. Look how small that thing. That thing's it's beautiful. Look at that. 155. All right. So this has a little connector right here in the back. Right there. Pops right on. Boom. Now I can actually move it back a little bit more if I wanted to, but we'll just see how it is for right now. All right. What I did want to see is um, how it works with. Um, how the camera, remember I said in the beginning of the video, I want to see how the camera works with a, um, a USB-C cord. I want to see if it was able to power it on, so we'll get that going first. So I know if I got to attach a dummy battery before I move forward. Alright, so you got a USB-C here. Um, there's no battery in here, right? Yeah, I'll take the battery out. usb here. Does it work? So as you can see, this here, the USB-C to USB-C doesn't power the um, the camera at all. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if that's a setting, but yeah, it doesn't power the camera. So uh, so what I got here is a D-Tap D-Tap battery, dummy battery. I like this one that because it has this little surge protector. Um, got a little surge protector, but it's D-Tap to uh, USB-C battery. So we're gonna turn this baby sideways. Take this out. Uh, uh, I mean, I don't have to take out the door. There's nothing that's gonna be hitting it, so the door is kind of protected. And I'm, I'm gonna connect that baby. Wrap it around. For 
safety. Don't care that baby right here. Uh, see? And now automatically, boom, you got power. Look at that. I already heard it. See that? You got power. See that? Can you see that? Power. Alright. Power. Alright. Perfect. Perfect. So now we know that this battery works. That works perfect. Alright, so next thing is let's go ahead and add this. Go ahead and add this uh this lens cap. Now, as I said earlier in the video, this here, this here is the money maker, okay? Listen. To all my fellow videographers, they, people, go off of what they see, all right? That being said, when they see you with a small camera, you can be the most skilled videographer out there. When they see you with a small camera or you say, you know what, I can shoot this on my phone. Because think about it, we can shoot a lot of things with our phones and it comes out beautiful. But they'll see you shoot on your phone and they'll be like, what are you doing? I can do this. That's not what I paid you for. Like, what? Like, you came here with a baby camera? Like, no. This right here, you want your camera to look big and bad, right? Once your camera looks big and bad, now they gotta pay you. Now you can now because they pay you for what they see. So when they see you like, oh, snap, look at that big old camera he got. Guess what? Now the big bucks gonna roll. Yes, I can pay him because look at this big equipment he's coming here with. Alright, so this is the free well. Bond door. Alright. So it comes with right here, barn door with that baby. Oh, that's so beautiful. 82 millimeters. What is this? Let's see. Is this 82? Oh. Oh, 82. I don't even gotta switch it. I don't even gotta switch it. Right? So you take this part, this is the, um, this is what they call the, um, the, the, the filter dimer. It's magnetic, but it goes on the front of it. Um, yeah. Alright, there we go. Boom. It goes on the front like that. And this baby goes on like this. That goes on the front. Boom. Got that. Wow. The best thing about this is the reason why I chose the free well is because the uh, okay, these are the uh, the different sizes. Sixty-seven, it comes with different so basically if your lens filter thread is a different size, it comes in different sizes. We got the sixty-seven right here. Sixty-seven. Right, then you got the 72, and then you got the 77, right down here, 77. Okay. And then that's also a cap, too. It also comes with a cap. And a nice little carrying case. Now, look at this. Tell me, tell me, like, look at this day. Look at this. Like, come on. Tell me this doesn't make you look already like you shooting like you know i feel i'm feeling like michael michael bay out here you know what i'm saying she wolf out here just get rigging it you know what i'm saying like look at, come on now that's beautiful this is beautiful this ain't beautiful to change very beautiful very beautiful this right here battery
All right, I'm not gonna go through all the indie filters because they um, so it's a lot to go through. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm just gonna open this gold one real quick because I, I want to see. I just want to see. Actually, these remount baggers used to be a lot bigger. They used to be a lot bigger. You're just on the small size now. Best thing about these filters, right? Let me show you. Look at this thing. Magnet. Magnet, son. Come on. Come on. Magnet. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Magnet. Look at this. Let me see. Let me see what this filter looks like. Let me just see real quick. Can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see them ghost streaks? You can't see that? Look at the ghost streaks on the camera. Matter of fact, I got you. I got you. Where's the HDMI? Where's the HDMI cord? So you can see what I'm seeing. I'm sorry, we're gonna detour a little bit. I know we was grooving, but we're gonna detour a little bit so you can see what I'm seeing, because you ain't seen what I'm seeing. Uh, and shit. And this cord is ass a little bit. Hold on. Like, why they made it this way? It's supposed to go the other way. Who made this? I want you guys to be able to see what I'm showing. Huh? No, I'm going to show it on the monitor. It, it is. I don't have the cord for it. There's an adapter that goes into that that connects. I, I don't have the cord right now. But just to do. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna get a small HDMI cord. Um, I just want you to see what this baby look like. Look at this. That's the gold filter right there. Look at that thing. See them streaks? See them streaks? Come on now. Right. Hey, who? Look at them streaks, though. All right, so these are the filters I just explained. Um, I'll show you a clip of what that goal is, really does, if you guys don't understand, but. So this is the build. Um, this is pretty much everything for the rig. Alright, so again, um, this is it right here. So you got lens hood with um, different filters. Again, I can mix I can mix and match the filters and everything like that. Um, this is the blue street. Um, metaphoric, then you got I got the variable, I got a variable ND as well. Um, variable ND, then I have this, um, the um, soft gradient. Um, Darker at the top than it is at the darker at the top than it is at the bottom. If you if you don't know why, obviously because you would want the sky to not be blown out, but then whatever you're recording below to still be still be bright. So it kind of balances the sky. If you're to the bright sunny day or whatever, it balances the sky and the subject that you're shooting below the sky. Okay, so that's all that lens hood. Got my side handle again. Um, I got my monitor at the top using a Ninja 5 battery powered, but I'm gonna find a way to, to um, connect it all to the D-Tap for solar power. Got a dummy battery connected to the D-Tap. Um, you know, I got the Sony A1. Um, yeah, and this is basically the rig build right here, right? Um, leave a comment 
If you like it, if you don't like it, if you think I should change anything, add more to it. Um, this is going to be our go-to shooting camera for our, you know, for anything cinema related or anything like that. So, y'all stay tuned. We got a couple projects coming up, so I wanted to get this out the way and uh, get this going. Catch you guys in the next video. Awesome, get to sit, I'm trying to build my wife. Give you all this love, make you quit tonight. Got it, I'm actually.